Hey guys, let me just throw together a little montage of the last couple days, uh, different students flying. We didn't capture all the audio, so I'm just gonna throw some music over it to show you guys a couple of different students and their first couple days of flying. Hope you enjoy. Keep the left hand on here. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Go to 2000 RPM first. All right, Dorian. So we, uh, as we discussed in the classroom, we want to discover now the effects of the controls with speed and height, right? Yeah. So the first exercise, I want to stay up here and I want you to just focus on the cycling. out with uh, Lucas here today and uh, this is his first ever flight his first time on the controls just been on the controls for a couple minutes and uh, yeah so we're just gonna see how things go today give him a basic understanding of what uh, the controls do and how they work okay. uh, but right now we're just in flight so we can do everything with our cycle so push a little bit forward because we're climbing a little bit and then I want to start heading this way over here. So start coming to the left a bit. Climbing like crazy now. Yeah. Two reasons. One is because we brought our power up a little bit. And the other is because we let our nose go up a little bit. Yeah. That's, that's a, not a bad thing because we need to get over that hill. Excellent. And we actually want to be diving back down. We're going to go around the corner and down so we can push a little bit more forward. Matic. But when we do the right amount, we can keep this nice smooth approach going all the way to our spot and it looks and feels really good, but we're constantly making little adjustments on both of the controls. And whenever we land and it's not a good like concrete pad or something, I always do what's called a seating check. So once I get the collective a little more than halfway down, just kind of pat it down a little bit. You can feel how it's just testing the ground. Yep. To make sure it's solid. I might even use a little bit of pedals if I need to. If the ground feels good, then we can lower it all the way down. Look how quickly we're climbing here. Yeah. A lot of power there. We don't need this much power, but why not? A little bit of the cycling and then slowly bring our power down to about um, to start with let's bring it to, i don't know maybe 17 or 16 or okay. something and then let's just see how it feels right so yeah. it's always a feel thing and then as we do that we need a bit of right pedal to keep that nose straight keep the helicopter in trim keep your eye on that big barn out in front of you yep and i want you to push just enough left pedal to keep the nose nice and straight uh, that's good and now we're going to do the cycling, okay? okay? So you can take control there. Enough control. And I'm going to fly with you for just a second here. We're just trying to get the helicopter nice and stabilized in one position here. And then your job is just to hold it in that one spot okay. as best you can. Okay, so you have control. Enough control. <laughs> so you can see how it doesn't take very long and yeah, the helicopter yeah. gets out of control, yeah. okay? together. So you can see there's a little bit of progress there. It was still getting out of control, but you were having a little better understanding of how it works. Okay. Good. Try and get that dot. Quick, 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 quick. Get it back to its middle. Back to its middle. There you go. Getting better, getting better. There it's back in the middle. You have control there. Go. As we come around this way, the opposite is going to happen. It's going to really start to slow down because we're going to go into that wind, right? There we go. We're back again, guys. Lucas is doing so good. We were just doing climbs and uh, descents, and now we've come along the Fraser River here. 
we're doing power and airspeed changes. So we're basically speeding up and slowing down the helicopter while maintaining the same elevation. So you're doing really good. We've slowed it down to about 65. Why don't we go ahead and accelerate again here? Bring it in that power. That's looking nice. Just out here with Sam right now. We got down into this little confined area. Why don't you climb on out of here? This place is absolutely insane. Oh, this place. Wow, look at this today. <laughs> Not doing it any justice with all the rain on the bubble, but cool. So we decided we'd take a little zip over towards uh, Victoria Harbor. The weather is the nicest down in the States. I don't know, Sam, you bring all the good weather from the States. But it doesn't make it all the way up to Canada for some reason. I'm not sure why. Check this out, you guys. Look how beautiful that is right now. So we decided uh, we're going to go that way across Orcas Island, which is that one in front of us. And then out a little more to the right, fly over Victoria Harbor and then make our way back. A good day for that.